Hello, and welcome to my series on how to make a 2D platform game in Unity. In today's episode, we're going to be adding the ability of our character to be able to face the direction he is moving like so. Let's get started. So as of right now, whenever we hit play, and we move our character back and forth, he just faces one direction regardless of what position or I'm sorry what direction we are trying to move in because he's just this still picture here so we want to begin adding some different animations and features to him to give him a little more life now if you kind of look over here we click on our player and we have our scale here in this X direction and if you put it over the X you'll see these little two arrows and you can move them if I drag it to the left he'll flip he'll go negative and if I move it this way he goes right and he's positive so basically what we want to do is we want to put in a command to give him that negative x direction when we move him to the left and a positive direction or a positive scale number here when we move him to the right so we're going to go into our player controller script right here and we're first going to go down here to where we input our a direction and we're going to write transform dot local scale then we're going to set it equal to a new vector 2 and our vector 2 is going to be negative 1 comma 1 because so the new vector is going to be negative 1 in the x direction and it's going to remain positive 1 in the y direction. So we're going to hit save and we're going to go back into the Unity Editor and before we do this you're probably going to want to change your linear drag here just just put it to 1 because he's probably going to slide off the screen when I hit this because he has no drag because we haven't set that in but we will later and I'm going to hit play and I'm gonna hit my A key and now we, the whole thing went this blue color but if I go to my scene here you can see that he did turn in the he did turn in the left direction like we want but why why did this turn blue like this what went on and also this is why we put in our linear drag here because if we didn't he would have just slid off the screen um, so we're gonna undo this and we're gonna just go hit this 2D here I'm gonna back up a second and we're going to highlight our camera and you can see here the camera is is actually if you look it's negative 10 it's behind it's behind here in this negative z direction and when we hit play and I hit A and it goes blue you'll see that our camera moved our camera changed direction with the player and that's because last time we we did this simple parroting let me just get out of this we did this simple parenting technique where we just attached the camera to the player like this and I, I said there was many ways to do this and I said that because I knew we were going to go explore other areas of how to get this done how to attach your camera to your player so let's do that right now so the first thing we're going to do to fix this is we're going to create a new C sharp script right click down here go up to create hit C sharp script and we're going to call this camera controller and I don't know why I did that we're going to open up our new camera controller script up here and we're going to just delete all that we're not gonna need it actually we will need a void update but we'll just put it back in so we're going to create a public transform and we're going to call it player and now we're going to have a void sorry private void update and in here we're going to put transform dot position and what we're going to do is actually we're going to equal this to a new vector 3 but first I'm going to show you why you don't use or why in this case it's not 
a good idea to use a new vector too. So we're going to just do a quick example here. So I'm going to type new vector 2 and I'm going to type player dot position comma oh, I'm sorry player dot position dot x comma player dot position dot y and so we have a new public transform here that we're going to attach our player to in the editor we'll get to that in a second and then this transform dot position is the position of the camera and it's going to transform just like it says here to a new position based on a new vector 2 that is going to be created by the position of the player in the x direction and the position of the player in the y direction we're going to hit save and we're going to go back into our editor and the, we're going to let it compile and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our camera here we're going to bring it up see that little see that little blue line we're going to bring it all the way up to the top there and that's going to help unparent our camera from the player so now it's separate and in here we are in the inspector window of our camera and we're going to take the camera controller oops I bungled up everything go back to clicking on my camera I'm going to take this camera controller script we're going to drag it over here and this new component this script is going to attach itself to our camera and now we have uh, our blank transform here that we have to put something in that's that's what we created over here our public transform called player is right here it's public so it appears in the component and then we're gonna take our player and we're gonna drag him over and we're gonna attach him to that script so now we're going to hit play and it's blue again this is not what we wanted so the reason why is because if you look here on the camera it starts at negative 10 here in the Z direction let's go back to our scene and our camera there's there it is in the negative Z direction over here is the negative Z direction over here is the positive Z direction you can you can see you can see these uh, vector positions or these planes right up here and uh, our here is our player and his Z direction is zero he's right there and so what we said in this script is we wanted him to follow the position of the player and we, even though we didn't write Z there it's still gonna follow or it's still gonna adjust himself to the player's Z direction which you'll see we're gonna hit play it's blue and here's our camera and it's right here against the plane because it's in it's on the Z axis is at zero that's why it put itself right there so to fix this as we wanted to do before is we're gonna put in a vector 3 instead of a vector 2 and we're going to put in a comma space negative 10 and that's gonna hard code our negative 10 position to the position of our camera and hit save we're gonna go back in and now when I hit play my player moves forward no blue screen he moves backward and now he doesn't switch back in the other direction because we didn't tell the uh, script to do that which we'll do right now gonna go back into our player controller script here's where we put in our transform.local scale for our A key to get him to move left now we're just simply going to we'll just do this the quick way control C to copy control V to paste and we'll simply get rid of that negative sign so now he'll move back whenever we hit the D key he'll move back to the positive one direction we'll hit save we'll go back here we'll let it compile a second we'll hit play there we go he moves forward he changes direction in that direction and now he changes direction in the other direction just like we wanted. So that's all for today. In the next video we're gonna start getting into our animations. As always, thank you for watching. Like my video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. All links are in the description below. See you next time.